Hi, Chad with Purple Color Life. Today's video is about the log splitter shortage across the country. We're at the local tractor supply closest to our house. You can see they have one log splitter available. It's a county line, $2,200, 40 ton machine with the Kohler Command Pro 14 horsepower. So this is what's available at this entire tractor supply close to our house. Here at Home Depot, they have three splitters in stock, all the same. Champion 27 ton, $1,300. They have a Champion brand engine, not really sure who makes that. It's a 224 cc engine. Same engine, same setup on each one of these. Like I said in the intro, this video is about the current shortage of log splitters. Right now, it seems everyone is looking for a log splitter. It's the chill in the evening air, the fact that the summer went by way too quickly, and the fact that the leaves are starting to fall. It all makes people think and start to plan for winter. So right now, there's a pretty severe shortage of log splitters on the market, new or used. And I don't see this shortage ending anytime soon. In fact, I believe it will get worse before it gets better, and I'll explain why later. But this video is also about what I've discovered after over a year of research into log splitters, as I was determining what log splitter would be best for me and my family here at the Purple Collar Life Homestead. In this video, I'll talk about pricing, lead times, contact info, features, and other information gained from a year of research on log splitter brands like Easton Made, Wolf Ridge, Rugged Made, Split Fire, All Wood Log Splitters, Husky, Crimson, Champion, County Line, and others. Like I said, I've done a lot of research on the web, on YouTube, shopping at stores, talking with salesmen, and talking with owners. I've been in regular communication with Andrew from Easton Made, Chris from Wolf Ridge, Kyle from Split Fire, and Bobby from All Wood Log Splitters. I've watched many of my YouTube friends with their machines. My desire to get a new splitter really started years ago when I saw the Wolf Ridge Pro on Outdoors with the Morgans. At that time, Mike was cutting and splitting firewood to sell as a side business. That splitter was what first showed me that there was a whole other world of splitters out there beyond what I was familiar with from my experiences in our family's first Montgomery Ward splitter and our current Husky box store splitter. And for those of us dealing with Pennsylvania hardwoods, which are often quite heavy, the log lifts on these machines looked like the best thing since sliced bread. In more Wolf Ridge searching, I found back 40 firewood and enjoyed Dan and Amanda working night and day on their firewood stockpile. I also love the back 40 Friday night live sessions. It didn't take long to discover the other few big players in the more commercial log splitter industry. I first saw split fire splitters on GP Outdoors. And the two-way log splitter amazed me. Why have we been wasting all this time and energy on the backstroke of the splitter? Searching for split fire led me into the split fire YouTube channel and Our Green Acres or OGA Outdoors. Ben has been doing a great job of showcasing the split fire advantages. I then saw GP Outdoors use the Easton Made, and it looked like a great machine. More research on Easton Made sent me to Adam over at Hometown Acres, where he switched from the horizontal to the vertical world with the Easton Made Axis. Absolutely amazing idea, allows you to work higher and better select your exact split size that you desire. Easton Made research also led me into the woodyard, where Chris is always chucking wood into his truck and has a massive stockpile of wood that he sells on a daily basis. It also took me to Old School Millennial, where Glenn uses the Easton Made Ultra, and to Ohio Woodburner, where Joe uses the Easton Made and the Super Split machines. Joe's Premium Firewood has used the Husky and the Easton Made. Over at Rock Hill Farm and Homes, Brock uses the Champion. Phil at Woods Tree Farm and at Flat Creek Outdoors uses the Champion also. All this research let YouTube start suggesting other brands to me, like the Rugged Maid that Outside with Shibe uses. I knew the name Outside with Shibe as one of the great woodhounds on the Back 40 Firewood Friday Night Live chats. Another suggestion by YouTube was the All Wood brand splitters. I had an opportunity to talk at length with Bobby, who runs this Michigan-based log splitter company. They make some really fast splitters. They're not as large of a commercial log splitter company as Wolf Ridge, Split Fire, Rugged Made, or Easton Made, but all wood splitters are certainly worth looking into. After all this research, watching videos, reading literature, creating a spreadsheet of features, options, pricing, lead times, weights, specs, 
I was finally ready to make a decision on what splitter worked best for me based on my needs, my budget, the machine capabilities, the machine quality, longevity, and total cost of ownership. That's research that I suggest everyone does, because what's best for one person will not be the best for everyone. It all depends on many factors. In future videos, you'll see what we decided on. Of course, making a decision doesn't mean you're going to be able to go out and pick up that splitter immediately. If you choose one of the few in stock, you're golden. But in most cases, there is quite a delay on lead times. I'd say the time to buy is now. Lead times are long, but at least get your name on that list. If you're looking for a new machine right now that you have to have right away, there are a few units available at some of the box stores. You saw what was at our local tractor supply and Home Depot. Here's what I found at the tractor supply down by Mike Morgan's house near Pittsburgh and at the Rural King about 30 minutes from my house. Here at Tractor Supply, they have three log splitter options. We'll start sm small and go big here for $1,200, 196cc, 25 ton, county line. Eleven point five second cycle time. Nice big heavy duty I beam look splitter. Has the Kohler six and a half horsepower SH two sixty five engine on it. You can see this one does pivot up and down, so you can use it horizontally or vertically. It's got the 8 inch tires on a solid rim, no bolt holes there, that's just an axle. There's the hydraulic pump. Hydraulic filter. It's a 2 inch ball. Let's take a look at the next one up here. This one's $1,800, 277 cc, 30 ton. You can see this one does have a little log rack on the side, that's helpful. Big 30 ton piston. A little bit bigger Kohler engine, that's the Kohler Command Pro, nine and a half horsepower, 277 cc. Model CH395. It's got the bigger air filter on it. And then last in the row here for $2,400, 429 cc, 40 ton, has the Kohler CH440, 9.5 second cycle time. 10 inch tall splitting wedge, 25 gallon per minute pump, 10 gallon hydraulic reservoir, and a little bit bigger log rack on the side. That's what they have here at this tractor supply. I'm actually just down the road from Mike Morgan's house from Outdoors with the Morgans, just north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And right now I'm here at Rural King. They have the Crimson brand, 27 ton for $1,100. Here's a look at it. It's kind of interesting. It has hoses with uh, guarding around it. Rural King says free assembly and hydraulic oil with all log splitters, $90 value. So this one is the 27 ton, I believe. Crimson, 27 ton, and it has a Briggs CR950, 208 cc's, nine and a half foot pounds of torque. So it doesn't tell us the horsepower. It does say that Briggs and Stratton engine from Milwaukee. 
Again, this one can be used vertically or horizontally. There's another 27 ton beside it. And you can see these 27 tons do have a small little log rack on the side, table. Here you can see the price on the tag is eleven ninety nine ninety nine, so twelve hundred. But the price here on the sign is ten ninety nine ninety nine. They've got three of these twenty seven ton crimson splitters in stock. And again, just a single hub wheel, no lug bolts. Four point eight by eight. Now beside us right here is the 32 ton crimson log splitter. Has a bigger engine on it. Briggs and Stratton XR Professional. 250 cc, seven horsepower at 3000 RPM. A Little bit bigger reservoir for hydraulic fluid building with the frame there. And the tag on this one says $1,399.99, so $1,400 plus tax. Here in Pennsylvania, tax is 6%. It does have a nice user guide holder on it, manual. That's nice. Here's the tag with about information about it. 32 ton, 13 and a half second cycle time dual filtration system, nine inch hardened steel wedge, three years workmanship, two years on engine, one year hydraulic warranty. Let's look at these specs. Crimson model, YTL 590012, 26 inch log length, four and a half inch diameter cylinder with a 24 and a half inch stroke. 8 gallons maximum hydraulics, 9 inch wedge, 7.9 inch foot plate, which is actually the press plate that you're pressing the wood against down there. There's the wheels. It does say road wheels, but again, it's just a center hub with a tire and wheel on it. I do like that clear hose to see the fluid passing through. That's nice. Kind of give you an idea of what the fluid looks like. Make sure there's fluid in there, the cleanliness of it. And I like these wrapped hoses. A little bit of added security there. Part of my purple collar life is doing a lot of research about products like a log splitter that can help us here at the homestead. We work hard for our money and we want to make sure we make informed decisions. Like I said previously, if you're interested in a log splitter, I believe the time to buy is now. If you're interested in one of those ones from Home Depot, Tractor Supply, Rural King, or other stores that have something in stock, I would pick one up quickly. I think they'll be gone soon. I also believe lead times will continue to be long due to material and component delays and staffing shortages. I also believe these issues, hiring additional workforce, finding new vendors, changing parts, will drive prices higher than they are today due to increased overhead and the laws of supply and demand. We've already seen some manufacturers change components, like Easton made switching from Honda motors to Briggs Vanguard engines. Personally, I'd prefer the Honda every day. As far as pricing, these companies are very transparent. Their websites list pricing on products and options. Rugged made, Wolf Ridge, Split Fire, and Easton made all list detailed pricing for each model. Split Fire, Easton made, and Wolf Ridge actually let you build and price the equipment exactly the way you want it, which I love. Wolf Ridge is showing current lead times for each model on their website. In the last week, I had a chance to talk with Kyle at Splitfire, Andrew at Easton Made, and Chris at Wolf Ridge. I asked them each about what the most popular models are right now, what lead times are, what pricing is, and what down payment is needed to get on the waiting list for a unit. Kyle from Splitfire said the most popular unit right now is the Splitfire 2265 for homeowner or acreage owners. Also popular are the larger Splitfire 3255 and 3455, which are more commercial grade but still very popular among homeowners. Increasing in popularity is the three-point hitch configuration, like the Splitfire 3203 model. 
Splitfire offers a lot of custom stroke lengths for people who are cutting wood in longer lengths for outdoor wood boilers. Lead time on most models is 10 to 12 weeks right now. Kyle notes that as the fall approaches, that lead time will get longer. In normal times, lead times ran six to eight weeks, but Kyle believes that the shift in population from urban to rural areas across North America all have equipment manufacturers seeing increases in demand. Pricing is available on the Splitfire website. Current pricing as of today in US dollars is $2,583 for the most popular Splitfire 2265 model. Upgrading to the Honda engine is $233 more, and I think that's a no-brainer. To reach Splitfire, you can use the contact us form on their website, split-fire.com. You can also email sales at split-fire.com or call 519-468-3647 and talk with Kyle directly. Andrew at Easton Made is seeing even longer lead times. He is booking sales into May of 2023, and sales are continuing to increase on a monthly basis. Andrew says the two most popular Easton Made machines right now are the Easton Made Axis at $7,500, and the Easton made 37D at $20,000. That unit with the Kubota diesel engine and a 7 second cycle time is for the serious firewood processors. The best way to contact Easton made is to call the sales department at 613-812-3213. Easton made takes a $500 deposit to start building and the balance is due when the machine ships. Easton made's website is eastonmadewoodsplitters.com. Chris at Wolf Ridge says his most popular machine is the 28C commercial compact splitter with auto cycle and magnum package. This unit is currently priced at $9,295 with those options. The second most popular machine is the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro. The 28 Pro is the entry level splitter and is $5,995. Right now lead times are about three times longer than normal due to supply chain issues. Currently, lead time is at about six months if you place an order today with Wolf Ridge. But there are also six dealers across the United States that do have some units available depending on what you're looking for. Pricing is the same straight from Wolf Ridge or from a dealer. Shipping may just be different depending on where it's coming from. A down payment for build is 20% to get the machine on the schedule. The Wolf Ridge website is simple to use and shows all pricing, lead times, and even shipping estimates. The Wolf Ridge website is wolfridgemfg.com. That's wolf with an E, W-O-L-F-E. If you've watched this far through the video, thank you. You're either someone in my family or very serious about making an informed decision about a log splitter purchase. I hope this information helped. I encourage you to watch the YouTube channels I've mentioned and research the machines thoroughly to determine what best matches your needs. I believe that YouTube is the best resource to find information. By seeing what people just like you think about products they use at their home and business. If you found this video to be informative, entertaining, or some combination, I'd really appreciate if you'd click that like button down below and share the video with a friend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.